Well, hello everybody! Come, sit down, take off your coats, and stay a while, because we got Minos.wad right here to play. It is a fantastic level, and I can't wait to just jump right in and play. Yes, I'm Big Mac Davis here, and this is the master levels for Doom 2, played through GZ Doom on the Ultra Violence difficulty. This is the Z Doom interface by Zippy. And today we are in Minos.wad, which is the full title is Minos's Judgment, the fourth canto of Inferno, by Dr. Sleep. Yes, rest in peace, Dr. Sleep. I forgot to mention the last video. He did pass away uh, last year, actually, in 2018, um, as far as I know. So, rest in peace. Um, Condolences be with his family and with the Doom fans, for he did create some very excellent maps here in the Master Levels with his Inferno Cantos series. In your search for Beatrice, your guide Virgil, the beatnik space poet, has just successfully led you through the first circle of Hades, only to bring you to the court of Minos. The Judge of Hell. Well, you say, this is another fine mess you've gotten us into. Now what? Virgil, with his usual loquacity, replies, <laughs> Let's jump right in, and as is typical with Doom, we kill. The starting room actually reminds me a lot of the opening level, the opening part of Sigil, actually, where you start here in the center of the star and you have to climb out of it and shoot the enemies up top. I don't know if John Romero got inspiration from there, but look, here's an eyeball. We can shoot it, but nothing happens because this is not Sigil, everybody. So in here, there are two doors, two up top and two on the bottom. The first door we're going to go through is on the bottom right. And yeah, this heart is pumping, by the way. In here, we'll grab the armor bonuses, and we can look in awe at the soul sphere, which we can't have just yet. The next door that we're going to go through is on the top right. And we'll keep going through. Wow, he missed. We both missed each other, but I ended up winning in the end. So it takes us back out to the starting room. We did one full revolution around. Let's go back because I spied with my little eye a super shotgun. Now it's okay if you accidentally take the teleporters, they'll just take you back to the starting area. I just did that just to show it off, really. But our goal is to grab the armor, the backpack, which will come in handy, and the Berserk Pack, which won't see a whole lot of use this map, but, uh, you know, it may serve some use. Now, yeah, I don't know why these teleporters are here. They, they just literally take you back to the starting area. The last door that we're going to go through is on the bottom left. We'll just, because you're not worth the ammo, we'll just pistol whip you to death. You know what, how about we use the Berserk? It doesn't get much love. Now through this caged window on the right side, I like to snipe off the enemies. Including, but not limited to, the Imp and the Hell Knight. Come on, Hell Knight. Doing this will make your job easier later on in this map, when we actually get inside that room. Now on the right side is the blue door, which we can't go through just yet. And there's also this, 
which we are going to take right now. Now, either teleporter will take you to the same room. Oh, I didn't mean to fire that. And we'll run out, because this will activate a crusher, so be very careful. We'll lower... We'll lower down the Soul Sphere and ride this up. Because it takes us to a secret BFG 9000. Oh, yes. Now, I'm going to save my BFG 9000, or at least I'm going to save the plasma that's inside of it. And I'm going to snipe off the Baron as fast as possible. I've gotten it one time in a practice run where he actually crushed himself to death. Don't you accidentally do the same thing, though. Grab the armor here if you need it, and we'll retake any one of the two teleporters and come back out to this familiar area. So yeah, the blue door is right there, so let's take the other hallway. Rush forward. There's another blue door. Try and snipe off the gunners from up above, from over here, as best as possible. I just love doing that. The barrel's in the center of the area like that. Oh, it's so delicious. Deliciousness. So anyway, here are the windows with the imps and the barrels, and here is the ledge with the, um, the enemies up above. This is the red door, even though it's not marked as such. You can't go through it just yet. And here's another blue door, like I said. And we'll come to this area a little bit later. For right now, let's take this area right here. Make sure the Mancubus dies and the barrels. Barrels will severely wound the Revenant. We can grab the Mega Armor and the Box of Rockets up here. And I did alert a gunner on the left side. Now on the other side is a box of bullets. Don't miss it. And we'll head inside this area. Being very careful on the left side. For a trap with the Chainsaw. Also won't see a whole lot of use this map, but hey, it's there if you want to clean some demon teeth. Oh, yes indeed. Now also be careful on the right side for a trap. The wall just lowers for... lowers so quickly. Shoot the lost soul and we'll ride down the lift that he was on and it will take us to this area where we sniped off the imps with the barrels, where I said it was delicious. Because it was delicious. Look at the blood all around here. Oh, and the giblets. Oh, my heart. It can't take the level of awesomeness that's in this room. Anyway, let's go back up. This map is just making me so joyful. Now, through this door... It will take us to a plasma gun with some items as well. And what you can do is carefully walk out. Now you gotta be very you gotta be kinda nimble. But you can get the shotgun shells, but more importantly, I think, the plasma cell, the energy cell, whatever Doom wants to call it. Press the switch, that will open up a secret area out here. And we'll just follow it down. Now, from here, you can't jump out this window to get the yellow key, but you can just let everybody in fight like this. It is so lovely. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, shotgunner. Now, you won't be able to snipe everybody from here, but you'll be able to get a good chunk of the enemies dead. Like that shotgunner. Shotgunners are very deadly in the yellow key area. But see, I'm running forward right now. 
you can't really jump out the window at all, so let's go back. We'll find another way through to the yellow key later on. For right now, let's go back all the way to the lift. And we're back out to the red door area. Except this time, we'll go through this area to the right of the blue door. Radiation, huh? Yes, there is radiation all around. Make sure all the enemies around here are dead. Don't walk forward to alert more enemies. Just snipe off what you can in this window. There's quite a few enemies. I'm surprised they're not really... There we go. I'm surprised they're not stepping out right now, to be honest. I got rid of the chain gunner. That was probably the most important enemy in that window. Oh, I woke up the Cacodemon. That's okay, though. Let him come to us. We don't want to alert more enemies over by the blue key. Just let him come to us. Yes, Tomato. Come to me. Come to me. And he's now dead. So, what about more enemies? There we go. There's an imp. That might be all the enemies dead inside there. Now, there's a shotgunner that will be alerted. Let him come to you whichever direction he chooses. Now this next part can be rather troublesome, but it's really not. You want to run forward, get the blue key, and then just run back up the stairs. And let the two Hell Knights basically come to you. But you want to be sure that you don't get surrounded quickly. So what I do is I kind of help them along and snipe them from up above. And then, once they decide to come over your way, that's your cue to back up and shoot them like this. Okay, so, what we're going to do now is go left, press the switch to open up the Mega Sphere, and that's all that's up here, by the way. And we'll run down the slime tunnel, and just run forward until you get to the secret area. Now, this is also a place we sniped off the Hell Knight. Remember that cage that we sniped him off from? Yes. Be careful when you approach this door. A chain gunner opens up, and he missed me. Point blank range. Anyway, yeah, that door takes us to the familiar blue door hallway. Uh, you, you were supposed to die in two shotgun shells, but uh, I apparently I missed a couple of those pellets. That's all we can do here inside this room. So let's go through here. We're not going to go through the blue door just yet. What we're going to do is go back through this area near that blue door. Run back down and go left through this secret area. What I like to do is just go from room to room and snipe off the enemies. There is a radiation suit to protect you from the slime. Now these are blue doors right here, but I'm not going to go through them. Well, there's one blue door, but there's another blue door coming up like this one. We can snipe off a lot of enemies from here. Cacodemon, you're in the way. That's okay. There is an arch vial up there. We'll shoot him and get him to teleport. We can't go through these yellow bars just yet, but that's okay. Let's run all the way back to this familiar secret area, and we'll go back once again. Now what we're going to do is go back through here. I'm kind of turned around here. And go through this blue door over... No. 
actually. I have it backwards, I think. I think I might have it backwards. We want to go through this blue door up here. Yes, we do. Now here, I just open up this on the right side, grab up all the supplies. There's lots of them. And then just continue going up. Just let the enemies down below you basically just kill themselves. Now yes, occasional enemies will teleport, so be on the lookout for that, like that right there. This is where your plasma gun will come in handy, for a bit. Alright, that didn't go by too bad at all. Let the enemies in fight, let the enemies in fight. Plasma gun, use the plasma gun each time you teleport. You know, assuming nothing happens to you, of course. Good, more enemies are dying. You may want to go around the circumference of this room once or twice to make sure you've killed everybody. See, like this imp did not die. And this imp got trapped in this room. Oh gosh, he would have ruined my 100% run that I'm going for. Anyway, you should be able to do a circumference all around this room. Trying to get the enemies to infight maybe a little bit more. There we go. You can snipe off the uh, Mancubi from here if you really want to, but I'm not going to do that. Rather, I'm going to go back and... Boy, where am I going here? Okay, let's go back through this door and to the left and then through this blue door. Wow, he was ready for me. There's that arch vial that I shot and he teleported. Let him come to you, basically. There we go. Stupid chain gunner. Anyway, you want to snipe off the, the enemies around here, as usual. As is typical in a Doom game, everybody. Alright, that was awesome snipe off the remainder of the enemies that we see, and if we go down these stairs, we come to the familiar area where all the slime was. On the other side, we'll do the same thing. Except now, we have a rocket launcher. It will see some use, but not a whole lot. Radiation suit is mine to protect me from the sludge. Now once again, we're just going to go through all the doors and just kill. And we come to the yellow door, or yellow bars, on this side. This mission, I mean, it's all about sniping the enemies ahead of time. The route that I'm taking is not necessarily the shortest routes to get through everything. It's definitely, though, a route where you can snipe enemies from vantage points. You can actually take different routes that really cut down the time. That's not the way I play this map. By the way, yeah, this just takes you back to the Soul Sphere area. And that's it. Let's go back through this blue door, and we'll head down. We can head down this lift if we want to for the enemy kills, of course. All this will lower down, but we still can't fit through the bars, even if we lower this lift down. 
the idea is you want to go back and we'll go to the health bonus area first. Oh, just die. We'll grab the health bonuses and any of the other stuff we may need. Then let's see if I can do it. We can go all the way across to the armor bonus area. There we go. You were supposed to die with the other clan. Why didn't you, Imp? Gather up all the supplies and the red key. Do you guys remember where the red door was? The unmarked red door? Yes, it is back out through here. And we must go down through this door. And there's the red door, so let's go through. Let's have our rockets ready. Wow, most of the enemies actually died to the Mancubi and to each other. There's a box of rockets and one lone solitary rocket right here. Make sure to grab them all if you want, you know, all of the ammo supplies. And also the yellow key up here. Okay, I really hope that's everything dead inside the circumference of this area where we were sniping the enemies from. We have the yellow key now. So let's go back, um, no, through this door. And then through this blue door. And then down into the tunnels once again. Doesn't matter which tunnel you take. But we can open up the yellow bars, grab all the shotgun ammo. Those bars will lower down so you can now get up to where those bars were. And, well, okay, there we go, now it's starting to lower down, apparently you gotta walk somewhere near the yellow bars to get all that to lower down with the switch. Let's use our plasma gun. <laughs> he wanted to take the exit teleporters. Is that it? Oh, we're missing one item. Well, that's not fair. That's not fair at all. Oh, man. I am not leaving this map without the item. It's probably a bonus somewhere that I'm missing. I would not be surprised on that. Let's go to the armor bonus area. That's a typical place where you can miss stuff. Huh. How about the health bonus area? No? Okay, well, we are on a treasure hunt, I guess. Okay, let me think. Where would be the logical place where this item would be? I've gotten everything else collected. Maybe over in Imp Body? I know there were health bonuses down here, right? Hmm, one item. Okay, that just takes you back to here. You can't jump out the window. I may have to cut ahead to the item, everybody. I don't think I've ever done this before. At least not in a practice run of this map. Let's go through the right door here. Did I miss an arm, a health bonus? No. How about through here? No. Okay, so it has to be through here somewhere. Let's head up here. Maybe 
Maybe I missed something here in the sewers area. That just takes us back here to the familiar area. There's no items there that I missed. I know it. This is absurd. Did I miss anything in here? I'll grab that medikit though. All the slime is starting to eat me. Out up here. Did I miss anything? Is there anything to collect? No. Already been through here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh. Where? Where are you? I don't know if there are any items in this circumference area. Ah, oh, good grief. There's a health bo I mean, yeah, health bonus that I missed. Okay. Well, that's it for that. Finally. I am sorry about that, guys. Oh my gosh, I feel so stupid. You gotta take your time. There's 38 items in this map. Anyway, this is the exit teleporter. Let's just get out of here. Oh, but even though I missed an item, I am not going to knock the splendorness of this map. I enjoy this one. It is absolutely stunning for 1995. If this were a Doom 2 map, like if this were part of the 32 Doom 2 maps of 1994, this would probably be up there with one of my favorites. There's just something about it. The chemistry, the flow, the gameplay. It is solid gameplay from start to finish. Nothing is overwhelming. You get the right balance of health and ammo. It's not just a matter of going from room to room and just... It doesn't feel like you're sniping the same enemies every time. Every room has its own set of enemies that you have to deal with in a specific, systematic manner. I don't know, it's hard to explain, unless you've actually played this map before, it's really hard to explain what flow is in a map. The flow of this is just absolutely blissful. From start to finish, you are shooting stuff going from room to room, and just killing. And I just love the layout of this. You can go several different ways and still end up with the same result. The route that I chose to take, however, is, in my opinion, one of the safer routes because it allows you to be at an upper vantage most of the time to the enemies. Anytime you're at the upper vantage, you have the advantage in a video game. And so, the route that I chose to do for this map is basically the route where it allows you to snipe off enemies, but you can't get to where those enemies are just yet. You can snipe them off, and when you get there later on, everything's already dead for you. So, that was Minos' judgment fourth canto of Inferno, let's move on to the menu, where we get even more goodness waiting for us from Dr. Sleep. Rest in peace, my friend. The next map we're going to play, where... that's the seventh canto. Here it is. It will be Nessus, the fifth 
Canto of Inferno by Dr. Sleep, and that will be for next time. So, until next time, I'm Big Mac Davis here, and I shall see you when I see you. Oh, I'm glad I saved Dr. Sleep's maps for last. It puts a cherry on top of the dessert that is Master Levels, even though some of the dessert is rather distasteful. I love it. See you guys next time.